Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is October 13th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 20. And the Lord was angry enough with Aaron to destroy him. But at that time, I prayed for Aaron too. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your everlasting grace and mercy extended to our lives. We thank you, Father, that Though we were once separated by sin, Jesus has paid the price for that sin. That through him, we are now children of the Most High God. We thank you, Father, that we are under grace and under mercy. That we can have the privilege of being in the body of Christ and sharing the gospel of salvation with the world. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray this message would go out far and wide that someone somewhere this day would receive Jesus as their Savior as a result of this message. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. We have been studying about prayer, different kinds of prayer. and Nobody on this earth has ever, ever touched the absolute total power that's available to them through prayer. Not in their wildest imagination of, of what God has given us through the power of prayer. Nobody's ever realized the, the magnificence of, of what God has made available for us through prayer. Nobody except Jesus has ever lived in constant contact with the Father and walked through this earth knowing what to do in every circumstance. We just kind of go, you know, bumbling through life, acting so spiritual. Oh, yes, amen. You know, and we, I pray three times a month and twice on my birthday. Amen. Here we are kind of just, you know, bebopping around. And, you know, when we ought to be walking continuously in the magnificence of God. I mean, well, we're about to go for it. All right. That's what these broadcasts are all about. This is what this study is about. Amen. Prayer. Praise God. Again, foundation scripture is really in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18. And before we get through, you're going to know this scripture inside and out. Amen. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, not just one piece or two pieces, the whole armor of God. And we covered that in detail a couple broadcasts back. Now, look at Ephesians 2, 2. Prince of the power of the air. That's the devil. We covered that in depth also. We discovered there are three different types of heavens talked about in the Bible. You have the heaven where God's throne is. You have the stellar heaven, you know, with outer space. And you have the heaven surrounding this earth, which is the atmosphere. And we discovered that that is the only place the devil can operate in. He's limited to that heaven. We are not in battle against other men or other people. We are in battle against the devils and the demons that are controlling other people. Actually, we're not in battle against them either. The battle was the Lord's. The victory is ours. We're, you know, we tend to give the devil too much credit. The only power he has is the power that other men give to him. You're not going to go into battle against him. Jesus already did that. Jesus already defeated him openly, and he defeated him real good too. Praise God. You are not going into battle to try and win the war. Jesus did that himself. You're the mop-up crew. You're the occupying force. Your job is to go out and search where the devil is trying to erect some strongholds and then use your God-given authority to tear them down. Amen. We need to make sure he does not erect these strongholds in our life. Our family's life, our finances, our city, our government. Amen. We are the ones who are to make sure he does not occupy any territory. Now, let me step back a second. We are going to go back now and look at the prayer of agreement again. You remember, we just covered this a couple sessions ago, but I told you then we need to come back to it once we have a good foundation laid. And well, we're going to start that today. Praise God. We just looked at binding and loosing also. I said that we would need to return back and look at the prayer of agreement because it was related and tied together to binding and loosing. So let's go ahead and let's do this now. Okay. We need to exert the power and the authority of Jesus as we find, bind, and cast down satanic strongholds and wicked spirits. Otherwise, they'll try to exert their influence over your mind, your family, etc. We can see that our government systems today, we've allowed these satanic influences to sneak into our government, and now we are suffering for it, and we're wondering why. Well, I'll tell you why. 
because you let the devil get into the government, you big dummy. Kick him out. Get some godly folks in there. Stop voting in politicians that continue to push an anti-God agenda. Stick with the word. It works every time. Stick with the politicians that are holding up the word first place in their life, not just there in election days, but in their life. Put them into office. Let them be led by the Spirit. But instead, this nation has voted in politicians that vote for every ungodly thing they can imagine and then try and shut down the Christian narrative. That's the reason we're in trouble today. Amen? So, if you start voting in godly people to run this country, things will start to get better. That's just the way it works. But when you just vote your pocketbook or what somebody can do for you instead of what they can do to further the kingdom of God in this nation, then you're part of the problem, not part of the solution. And God can raise up someone else to fulfill his plan if you refuse to do so. But for you and your family, if you refuse to obey God's word, look out. Because the devil's the one running your household. For you, it'll be damnation. Amen? I'm, I'm all out of time for today's session, so we'll take it up again here tomorrow. Believe me, folks, the prayer of agreement combined with binding and loosing will create a prayer life that not only elevates your prayers to a new level, but produces results that show up almost immediately. Satanic forces are unable to do anything when two or more believers come together to pray using these available prayer resources that the Lord has provided us. Amen? Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us of our sins, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for providing the forgiveness of sins, the gift of everlasting life. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lord, may our steps be ordered by the Holy Spirit that we can bring honor, glory, and praise to you in all things. Give us wisdom and understanding, godly wisdom, godly understanding of situations around us, that we can hear the voice of the Spirit. And as we take authority in situations where we've been run roughshod over by the devil before, no more. We're taking our spiritual authority and we are standing in the presence of Almighty God, protected by Almighty God, angelic forces are around us, protecting us from all evil. Father, I thank you for this prayer series. I thank you for this ability to communicate to believers worldwide how to use their spiritual authority in, through, and by Christ Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Do me a favor, leave a comment, rating down below, share this out on social media far and wide. Take two or three minutes, do me this favor. Take two or three minutes, go over to iTunes, leave us a rating and review right there. Just look at Prayer 2021. It really does help us to get the word out into all the earth. Okay? Be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around there. If you're interested in those resources, download them. They're right there. They're free. And until next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you again from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, Living Bible, to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk again tomorrow.